Hello, Jamie from Inky and Scrappy sharing with you today card four in my card series. This one is featuring Lawn Fawn's Hive 5 kit and that camera add on minus the Magic Irish this time. I'm actually using up the pieces from my last card in this series, card three. And so you see me pulling in that piece there and then the bottom piece which I used, had left over from the last one I made. And then I did just end up partially die cutting a piece or I die cut a scrap to just fit that center area there. And then I just trimmed it up to kind of, I couldn't see the lines on the pattern paper. So I think it's just a little bit, a little bit wider than each of those cut lines on the actual that the die cut puts in there for you. And lo and behold, that shaker frame from the Hive 5 kit fits pretty beautifully over that camera add-on lens there. And I did actually leave that little white dot white. I didn't even glitter it. I know, I must be ill or tired. Off my game, man. Off my game. So I'm just pulling in some of the scraps from the last one. And then adding that holographic paper to my shutter release button and the flash. There we go. Yeah, flash. That's, that's what we're going to call it. And then I'm pulling in the die cut from the Momenta set that I have. I've had it for a while. I think it came out. I don't know when it came out. I think I got it last year. I told you. I love bees. Or I love the hexagonal shape. I don't know. Either or. It was one of those had to have ones at the time. And it works beautifully with the set. So I pulled that one in. It's a little bit bigger hexagon than the one that comes with the shaker. And so it covers a little bit more ground. I'm just working on layout here. The idea was that, you know, the queen bee is obviously going to be the center of attention. And the hive, I just kind of thought, or the honeycomb, they're just kind of pulled into the fact that it's, you know, a bee. I don't know. I just thought it looked pretty. What can I say? And then I am pulling in that teeny tiny honeycomb pattern from the shaker kit. I did leave a bunch of little pieces on the inside there, just making sure I had glue on them when I popped them onto the card front. And then I'm going to put some foam on to my queen bee here so she pops up. Definitely making her the focal point of the card. So I want her trail to kind of trail off from the camera. But I want it to have enough that it's going to go over the majority of that card front there. So just trying to find the proper position. And then I'm going to pop up the happy B day sentiment. And we'll do that one front and center on the top. And then I wanted to pull in the flowers because this is kind of what I wanted to do on the last card was kind of do a bunch of flowers. I didn't want to go overboard because this card was kind of busy to start with, with both of those pattern papers and the honeycomb on the bottom. And so I'm coming in with uh, 171 with my uh, hoo hoo bullet nibs. So it's 171 for my darker shade of purple and then 169 for my lighter shade, my lighter or light shade of purple here, and then just kind of blending those out on those die cuts. And then I will shape them before I actually adhere them. I am adding some, I think it's the like super blue. So it's M0, I think it's 030 for, it's in the pale ooh hoo hoo marker. So a super pale light blue for the flower centers to kind of match the flower, the purple flowers that are on the pattern paper in the background there. So trying to pull those flowers forward. The flower die cut is from that shaker. I think it's from the shaker set. Yes, from that Hive 5 shaker set. And then the little circle piece, we will 
pop on in the center here. So those flowers have a little bit of depth and dimension with the rounding. I'm just doing that dot of glue in the middle so those petals are kind of free to stay poofy, I guess. Do they probably get squished in the mail? They probably do, but they looked pretty before and they went right. And then I'm going to pop this up on some foam tape here. I wouldn't have had to pop this one up on foam tape. I just thought it needed to pop off of the background a little bit. It gives it a little bit more depth or, you know, it gives it some dimension so it's not flat to my background. And I did die cut the pattern B paper using Lawn Fawn's Biggest Stitch Rectangle Die. So it does measure an A2 size card which is four and a quarter by five and a half and then I will pop this on top of my card base. I think I do that after I do the inside. So I'm gonna add my sentiment on the inside here. And then to the queen bee so the full sentiments would read, Happy Bee Day to the Queen Bee. And then I put the hive on the inside there to help, you know, bring the front into the inside of the cart or decorate the inside. The inside needs to have some fun too. So I'm going to pop this on my card base. And then, of course, I didn't, these are hand cut card bases, so sometimes I'm just a little bit off and I just throw that back in the trimmer and make sure it is all no white space on the outside where there's not supposed to be. I did bring in that gold Spectrum Newer glitter pen or brush pen, whatever it's called, and then the clear one for my little bee trail. And then I will bring in the clear glitter glaze from Lawn Fawn for those flower centers and the bee wings. And that is my completed card today. Super quick and super, super cute. Kind of, kind of busy, but aren't bees supposed to be busy? Thank you so much for watching. Please keep getting inky.